One of the um, issues of diabetes is that um, a lot of the patients will start to have frequent urination. So they need to go to the washroom like every 15 minutes. But another complication of diabetes is that a lot of times people lose the ability to walk. In the last year when my uh, maternal grandmother was alive, my uh, relatives just constructed a plank over the toilet bowl and then they cut a hole and then she, the entire time she was just lying there, she ate there, she bathed there, she slept there. The entire last one year she was alive but she wasn't living. Hi, I'm Alan. Hi, I'm Valine. And we're the founders of Alchemy Food Tech. We're supported by the DBS Foundation. Hello, hi, welcome to Alchemy. At Alchemy, we help people to enjoy their favourite foods like white rice, bread and noodles without the health implications of high blood sugar levels. All they got to do is to add our product, the Alchemy Fibre, to the food that they're making mm -hmm. and it slows down the digestion rate so it doesn't spike our blood sugar levels dangerously. Both my grandmothers, they passed away due to diabetes complications and my mum have six siblings, five of them are diabetic. So, you know, when I was growing up, there was a lot of instances where I experienced people struggling to stay healthy by staying away from their favourite foods. It's very crucial for any solution that we develop to satisfy both the taste and also the clinical efficacy. This is our food science lab. This is where our food scientists experiment with putting our alchemy fibre product into all kinds of carb staples. Definitely on the research side, it is very challenging. It may seem that we're just creating a blend and can be added to everything. But us being in Singapore, we know the difference between a mee pok and a mee kia, you know, and like a good quality one. Different types of noodles, there is different levels of protein, different pH. Even other types of food like a cake, a cookie, where there's more fat, uh, etc. It makes everything more complex. We were the first guinea pig for everything. We pricked ourselves. <laughs> we were the cheapest human studies around at that point in time. Human studies are very expensive, so they will cost at least five figures to get a sample tested. That's why we decided to start our own lab. So let's head into our biochemistry lab. What we're trying to do is to model how food is digested in the stomach. So this is like your magic school bus where you shrink into your mouth, it goes in your stomach, it goes in your intestines. We have this product which we call Fibre Green. When we were developing it as the first prototype, I made it into green chips by hand. Rubbing it into greens. Yeah. Until you have a ball of rice. <laughs> <laughs> so we will ask people, which one do you think has like more fibre and which one do you think is the, the regular? You know, and when people pick the wrong one, it's really a reflection on how they can continue to enjoy the food. People who are diabetic, they actually do give us feedback that they measured their blood glucose levels and it was good, like doing rice, etc. In the first 11 months of our product hitting the market, there was some uh, 7.4 million meals that was really made healthier because of alchemy fibre. And that's just in tiny little Singapore. I think the cause that we are going for is in line with DBS um, to, of course, award us the grant. Preserving habits, preserving cultures. It's really about like striving to make a very sustainable business so that you can create sustainable impact.